Hello and welcome to another Solana tutorial. I, this is me, have gotten a question quite often down here. Down here it says, how do I bundle multiple transactions and sign them all at once with wallet adapter? And I've gotten that question so many times now that we're gonna try and answer it. Yeah, yeah, that's what we do. So when we have a problem or when we want to find out how something is done and we don't know, first thing, we google it. Um, maybe that is helpful. No, multi-sign is not what I want. Also, Reddit never really got me where I wanted to go. Ah, uh, but this guy is even... Ah, oh, come on, I download this. I can't download this. Get your instruction and transaction terminology right. Okay, so if cooling doesn't work, then the next best way is to think where have I seen this before or where have I used this before and then try and find the source code for that. For instance, I'm fairly certain that the new candy machine now takes several transactions and if I remember correctly, the mint still just makes me sign it once. So I'm pretty sure that in the Metaplex, they have that in their client. The sugar, yeah, in the UI, the candy machine UI. Let's see, source. Where would I go? On Mint. That's here. That's wherever that button is called from. Okay, who calls the button? Home. Mint button. On Mint has this. On Mint. On Mint. Before transactions, after transactions. So here we have multiple transactions. That's already going there, I guess. So all the interesting stuff is in here. Mint one token. So we have several transactions. And then they just loop, really? Ah, there. So I think that's the. So essentially, I think it's just this sign all transactions. And then after we signed all transactions, we can just send signed transaction. But yeah, that's probably it. Now, let's also implement that somehow, somewhere. And where would we implement that? Well, obviously, at one of our programs, either the fee redeemer or the burner. The question is, where will I find the source code quicker? And I think the answer is the burner, because I did that more recently. <laughs> My green screen is in the wind. <laughs> That's how we solve that. Is that my burner? Let's not accidentally commit keys anymore. Burner. This will give me transactions back anyway. So transactions, aha. Uh -huh. And I did it so far with the send transaction. Just to show things, we set the maximum to one. We're gonna go on definite. Okay, connect. Oh wait, first we should probably... Nah. <sighs> Come on, Andy. Cool. So we have the wallet with one soul here, we can connect. Anyway, why do we not connect? Let's go to localhost. <clears throat> Maybe that's... Oh, that's working better. Okay, so on localhost it's working. Okay, fine. That's still weird though. I want to work on something completely different and not on this. Why does this take you so long? Just get it to definite. Using it with definite. Definite. But here, on definite, I don't have any collectibles. I hate my job sometimes. That's not even my job! It doesn't even have trusted apps, so why, do, why does it auto log in? Connect. There we go! What? Maybe all of that was just cached? Anyway, I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. I mean, we spent almost an hour on this. <clears throat> no, 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 we didn't. We didn't. Because I cut it all out. Okay, now back to my actual... I need a second token now. So... We need two token accounts, and then if we here refresh that, then we have two things. So, as it is now, that's where we were, 
if I wanna delete slash burn close both of them, I can say burn selection and it will give me one transaction to approve. Uh, why am I even using my own code? It just doesn't work. So you are, tr you are effing around on mainnet again now, is that correct? There's still something definitely wrong. If I want to close both of those, I get one transaction. <clears throat> transaction results in an account with insufficient funds for rent. Probably because I donate to this account. Let's not donate to this account then. So, approve that. There we go. Now it's go going through. So that's the first and then comes the second and I can approve that as well. But I need to do that individually for both of them. Okay. If you refresh now, now both of those should be closed again. So I'm going to create them again. And then we're going to find out how we can change our code such that I only need to sign once. Because that's what we're here to do. God damn it. So sign all transactions. That's, that's essentially all it is, right? And right now we're still doing a send transaction, which we don't want. Instead of send transaction, we say wallet dot sign transactions. What does it need? Transactions. Well, so far, so easy. Just plug in those and then we can lock it. An argument for a transaction was not provided, but you are definitely a transaction, right? A wallet might possibly be undefined. Is that what it is? No, can't be. What is possibly undefined? Oh, the sign all transactions is possibly undefined? Ah, maybe because not every one supports it. Okay, fine. Fine. If the wallet has that, then we shall do it like that. Else, we do it as we had it. Easy. Where does that come from? It's not even from here. <laughs> now it makes that never. <laughs> Smart. Fuck me. Pissibly undefined. What, what? Now, suddenly, all is good. I just Google the problem and all is good. You're a mother... Okay, never mind. And I'm pretty sure I can leave that out. But anyway, let's see. That I can, but don't have to await it. And here I would await... With the TXID. And here... I would just... For each... In signed transactions, I would say, do I then use the connection or what did I use? Send signed transaction. Somehow all of this is a bit slow. Is that your own thingy? Yeah, it's your own thingy. Connection send raw transaction. And it skips the pre-flight checks. Serialize. I am interested if that works now. So we just throw them out. Then we also lock and display. And we don't await because awaiting is boring. Just do that in parallel. Let's try. Boom. Might as well already open the console. The console. An error has occurred. Okay, okay, whatever, I don't care. Okay, so both of those burn. Uh, it, already, it already fails before. Transaction recent block hash required. Oh, come on. Right, so I was hoping that this will just uh, provide the block hash, but it does not apparently. So. Well, how is it done here? So we need to provide the block hash before signing, I assume, because otherwise it's invalid. Damn it, where was it? Ah, 
there. There it gets recent block hash, transaction doc dot recent block hash, block dot block hash. Easy, easy, let's just add that. So <clears throat> before we do that, we get a block for each TA, TA dot recent block hash is block dot block hash. Oh, that's deprecated. Please use get latest block hash instead. I can do that. Okay. Well, cool. Let's try that again then. Try it again. Like both of them. I mean, at some point I'm going to figure out what that shit is and I'm going to fix it, but not today. Burning fail. God damn it. Transaction fee payer required. So probably that means we don't have a signer, right? Send transaction probably adds a signer. But then if we sign all transactions, I would also assume that it adds a signer. Uh, but here it says dot set signers. Oh, that's also deprecated. Only the fee payer, stop changing. Only the fee payer needs to be specified and it can be set in transaction constructor or with the fee payer property. Okay. Fee payer property. <laughs> oh, that's also deprecated? No, you're just slow. Go away. <clears throat> Wallet dot public key. You are my fee payer. Now we have a fee payer. Tell me that this is not deprecated. The equal sign is also not deprecated. Go For some reason, this whole thing is quite slow. I'm just gonna save it. See that the terminal recompiled it. Public key or null is not this. Uh, but here we already say wallet has to have a public key. So this is already guaranteed to have a public key and not be null. TypeScript not smart enough, I guess. But okay, I can make an exclamation mark here if that helps you. Okay. Now, can you compile now? Yeah, compiled successfully. Nice. Now, try that again. Oh, look at that. No changes in the exit ownership fund. <clears throat> nom, 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 nom. Approve. Boom, boom. Two of them were sent out. And we get them sent back. Nice. I think that works now. Bam. Looks great. We transferred zero soul there and we closed an account. Nice. And both of those transactions were sent. User has signed two transactions. Yeah, that's how you do it. So, Mr. Rorozoro, I have an answer to your question. It's super simple, he says after. One and a half hours of coding. You just have to sign all transactions. And for that to work, you need to provide the block hash, which you can get from get latest block hash, and you need to provide the fee payer for each of your transactions. And then you can send the raw transactions by serializing the transaction that you have. Not sure if we need that. I mean, pretty sure we could also keep the pre-flight checks, but uh, yeah. And then, then, then that's it. That's it. That's the same. Yeah. Easy. Huh? Right? <laughs> Super easy. To check if we can keep the pre-flight checks. Because I'm also not 100% sure what that does. I'm really just playing around as, as you would. Let's say I donate 100%. Then, it sh then I should also not get the problems. Two tokens selected. Boom. Yep. Boom, boom, send, send. Nice. I guess that's it. I guess that's everything that I wanted to do today. Look how big I am. If you have questions like this for me to answer, write them in the Solana Stack Exchange or in my Discord. And if enough people ask me about it, then I might make a video. And also if I'm myself interested enough in it. And in that particular case, I was interested enough in it because it makes the fee redeemer and the token burner a lot more convenient to use if you can sign multiple.
I mean, it was a bit more effort to figure this all out than I thought, but in the end, the solution is really simple. So yeah, you can go check that out. I'm gonna commit that to Git now without also committing my secret keys. And you, go check out those other videos, like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, cool.